actors Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck allegedly have quite the interesting living arrangement. Yes. So according to an article in the Daily Mail, Jennifer claims that she and Ben are still living together in their Pacific Palisades home, even though they split last June after 10 years of marriage. Yeah, I know, that's so sad. But Ben's reportedly living in separate quarters from Jen, but it got me thinking, potty people, <laughs> Adrian especially, do you think that you could, you know, cohabitate with your ex? The only way I would consider it mm -hmm. is actually if, if, if we had kids and if that house was that big. <laughs> that is like a, that's an that's apartment a complex. complex. I feel like you could be in the house and not even know yeah, that you're that's, that's really big. I would have so. a couple of my exes living in there. Yeah. <laughs> possibly imagine that happening. But what if, like, you know, if you were living with somebody yeah. and then y'all broke up, but then you had, like, a lease issue or mortgage issue or something? I'm not gonna be able oh, to I'm make gonna cry. it. Oh, I'm gonna cry. You just I mean, bite the bullet? I mean, it's, it's yeah. just like, first of all, I'm like Petty Betty. He would be miserable, you know? <laughs> no, really, because I would kind of still act like his girlfriend, although I'm not. I can ask right? you, but you can't ask me nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. No, really, yeah. I'm just being honest. You're just being honest. I, I feel like I, if I was not in love with you, then I would just be like, I don't care. Me too, you but I would be... Care. You don't think you kind of always don't care, especially if it's in your face? Well, that's mm. the thing. Out of sight, out of mind yeah. for me. However, I would... <laughs> I would find myself weirdly nosy. Like, I would be like, who did he bring in today? See? I, don't, I know yeah. I wouldn't like him anymore, but still, I would want to know, yeah. you know? OK, you guys are going to yeah. think yeah. this is crazy. <laughs> My parents, when we were growing up, they pretty much didn't work out, and they okay. separated. They still lived together until me and both my brothers moved out of the house seven years later wow. after they separated. And then here's the crazy thing. Where I lived in the Bay Area, I met a lot of my friends who actually happened to be Asian. It was kind of common in their families, too, where if the parents didn't get along, they just kind of lived in separate quarters. So here's what I'm saying about for, for, for Asian people that I saw. We are so loyal and so dedicated to serve first as parents ah. than to worry about the drama that could happen between the marriage because we want the kids to be okay. So they would stay home and provide <laughs> the nurturing environment for the kids to have a family. And Can honestly, I ask you a question? it was amazing. Yeah, honey, really? Yeah. It was amazing. Oh, okay, I had wait. the same thing because, and it was not amazing. No. Because <laughs> when, they're, when they're happier to not be together, They'll but make it more to the space every day. But the nah. question of the matter is this. When y'all was growing up, did y'all know that they wasn't together? They was putting on in front of y'all? They put on the front for a little bit because Mama Mai's kind of real, so she'll just be like, I don't like your dad. Yeah, but that's <laughs> what everybody said. No. I <laughs> knew. So you're right. You're right. You like that? that? I think that I did. This is just I my did. personal opinion. <laughs> I was raised in a, in a family. My parents are not oh, yeah, together. Your parents did I too. completely disagree with this. I think. That that is a bad. This is just my opinion. Mm -hmm. That is a bad example of what a marriage should be. Absolutely. And, and I think your job as a parent is to teach your children what is right and what is wrong. And I think that is not a right example of what parents, marriage you, is. You no, know, because it's on the job no. training. You know be what I'm saying? Someone what you you're think in you're love doing with. is best for your kids. It's like okay, well, especially like right. okay, like Aiden and Logan. Like mm -hmm. they're obsessed with mommy and daddy and yes. the whole concept of mommy and, and daddy. daddy they yes. right? love family. Yes. And they so really let's do. just say, God forbid, one of us don't like each other and can't handle it no more. And I got to go. Right? Yeah. And so wouldn't you feel bad as a mother if your son would always constantly be like? Where's dad? Think, Where's dad? I think ultimately it's just up to the to the couple and to the individuals. Yes. If they feel that this works for their particular family, then so be it. I know for me, but I see what you're saying. For me, I don't think I could do it, but I've never been in I've never been in that situation and I don't know how I'll handle it. So that's the reason why I say, you just have to do what's right for you right. and your family. Because right. you're the only one yeah. who truly knows what's going on. Yeah, I think you when know, the kids I'm, are young, I think that that's, it's good to stay together. So I'd have to applaud, you know, Ben and Jen for doing that. Because yes, their kids are yeah, still young. Too. I strongly disagree. I, like, really feel passionately about this. Yeah, because you went through it. I strongly disagree, and this is just my personal opinion. I think when you get used to an idea of something, it is a lot more heartbreaking to deal with the change. Now, that's true. Because it eventually does. they're going to have to separate. I don't know any difference. My mom and my dad have never been together, and it's just always been in a good, positive environment that way. 
I think that would have been a lot easier to handle versus being an adult like Tamar. Your parents got yeah, divorced. Yeah, I was when you were 20. No, I'm just. No, this is real. No, when I was 21, my parents got divorced. It was devastating to yes. me. Like, I oh, thought no, we totally. was the Cosby's. Like, what happened? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, I'm telling you. Yeah. Putting up a front and faking the funk for your children. This is just There's my a... opinion. Might be one of the worst things. But we don't know if they are faking the funk. Though. They weren't faking. We don't know if they're faking the funk. I want to say my parents. I'm not talking about them no more. Yeah, divorced. But I'm saying no. But what I'm saying is in general. We don't know. There are certain families who yeah. are okay with that, and they're not faking the funk. They're saying mommy and daddy aren't together, but we know that you like seeing mommy and daddy as a family. Hey, it takes a certain type of uh, maturity. So cohabitating just so that we can raise you together. Yeah. I just have to say, now, I'm not trying to plug none, but I don't know if everybody watched Braxton Family Vice. I went through the same thing. When my oh, sister, I was about to say, I used to judge my sisters. I didn't know. Okay, sorry. I didn't have kids. And they used to always tell me, you ain't got no chicken, no child. You cannot wow. talk about what we're doing in our relationships and why we're doing it for our kids. You don't know. You do not have kids mm -hmm. yet. Yeah. And baby child, you don't have kids yet. Mm -hmm. And when them kids run I around... I was the kid! No, I was the kid! No, it's, it's a little... The parents and I'm not thinking. trying to make up an excuse because I was yeah. you. I was judging my sisters. And I mean, I had something to say about everything. Like, why you with him? You need to go get your life. You need to go be with somebody else. You need to go be happy. And little did I know that I have a little one running around, because marriage is hard. Oh, oh, yes. oh. I will say oh. this. Oh. I got a little one running yes. around the house talking about <laughs> mommy and daddy, and yes. I don't want to disappoint. As a parent, yes. I don't want to disappoint my baby yes. for yes. nothing. That was yeah. my mom. And to sum this up, I think what we're saying as, as parents, there's a part, and maybe what mommy, my, mama my and papa my were saying, as parents is a part of sacrifice mm -hmm. that you feel you need to do for your children, yeah. and sometimes you will do anything for your kids to make them to make them happy. And if they got a big house safe. like that, I don't mind if mama and daddy together. Okay, <laughs> that big old house. I'm not saying be abusive yeah. in front no. of your kids. I'm not saying allow your children to watch you, you know, get hit on or scream no. dad yeah, or get called never more the names of vice versa. Argue. I just said that it? they you were unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. You felt it as I knew a child. that they were wow. not in love. And that enough for me was like when my mom told me they were getting divorced when I was 12, uh, she came home and told me she was hysterical and I'm like I'm like, this is good. This is a good thing. I'm like, you guys are not in love with each other. You should not be together. Mm -hmm. And I wanted my parents to be happy. And crazy enough, they both remarried a year later, and they have been so happy ever since. And they now are great friends. Yeah. And I think happy parents, happy kids.